Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, members and Patreons. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab P2S and a pair of nozzles. One of these nozzles is a 0.4, the same size that's already in the printer. The other is a 0.6. This is a new size. Just a quick note on how to identify your new nozzle versus the A1 nozzle in case you have both and get them confused. You can tell these nozzles apart a few ways. The new nozzle is actually smaller than the A1 nozzle. The new nozzle has the code and nozzle size on a separate surface from the branding. The old nozzle on the A1 has the branding and nozzle size on the same surface. Here's a look at a Bamboo Lab A1 hot end. Here's a look at a P2S or H2D hot end. If you are changing the material and size of the nozzle, we will need to make a change here on the screen and in Bamboo Studio. I will walk you through both of those things. Let's pop in. Before we start our nozzle swap, let's lower the print bed. With the printer turned on, your stepper motors are engaged. You won't be able to move the hot end with your hands. Simply turn the printer off, and now you can bring the tool head up close to you. Pinch the tool head and simply pop it off and set it aside. I've simply got mine resting on top of the tool head. Here is our hot end. This is the hot portion. This is the cool portion. This is a silicon boot. Go ahead and remove that boot, pinching it and gently working it off. This silicon boot is wide open in the back, so it will pull off with ease. This will expose your nozzle and the clamp holding it in place. This metal clip right here pushes this way. This clamp right here pushes this way. Grab the nozzle and bring it forward and down. Replace that nozzle by simply sliding it into place, folding this clip and snapping this clip to lock it. Be sure this clip locks into place. To change nozzle sizes, do the same thing. Slip it in, back, fold, and lock. Keep in mind, this is a magnet. If you get too close to this clip, it will drive you nuts and stick to it. You want to bring your heat sink and magnet up here by the fan, then slip it into place. This will stop the magnet from interfering with the clip. Go ahead and press this silicon boot into place. Make sure it snaps underneath the nozzle and you can see the nozzle. When replacing the tool head cover, pay attention to this lip right here. The tool head fan wire tucks behind this lip to avoid interfering with a flush closure. You may now turn the printer back on. If you simply replaced the same nozzle size and type, you may return to service. If you are switching to a different size and type, we will need to make a few changes on the screen and in Bamboo Studio. Let's do that now. Here on the screen, we will tell the printer what type and size nozzle we've installed. We will do that by touching the double crosses, touching nozzle and extruder. You will look right here and see standard hardened 0.4. We will touch the pencil and we will set our type material and nozzle size. Mine was standard hardened 0.6. You will set yours and press confirm. Now on the screen you'll see standard hardened 0.6. This printer will communicate with Bamboo Studio so Bamboo Studio knows this is what's installed. However, we still need to make a change in Bamboo Studio in our profile. Let's pop over to Bamboo Studio. Here I am in Bamboo Studio. 
I will choose my P2S, moving over to the Device tab. I will also select my P2S. Here on the P2S device screen, I will click in to Printer Parts. On this screen, you will see the machine has communicated with Bamboo Studio and it knows I have a standard 0.6 hardened steel nozzle. However, the slicer still treats you like an adult. It is up to you to tell it which size nozzle you are working with in this project. We are working with a 0.6. So right here under nozzle diameter, I will choose 0.6. Here in my pull down, I now have 0 0.18, 0 0.24 and 0 0.30. It is possible to go even bigger than 0 0.30 you would simply increase your layer height by 0.6. The next layer height would be 0.36. Of course, there are other things that affect the performance of a nozzle, such as your max volumetric speed, which you can tinker with. Higher numbers create shorter print times. However, this is a somewhat complex topic, but you are certainly welcome to run some tests bringing this number up and seeing how your project and nozzle handle it. And just like that, you have replaced or changed your nozzle. I'm Mr. Greg, this is a P2S nozzle, and you're on 3D Rundown.